Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are currently on our final mission for this particular series. We are currently making our way out to the Lunar Gateway and we need to get aligned here a little bit, although it's very slow to turn. Let's just warp it on through here and get into position for this burn. This burn is of course taking us around to the moon. So we're gonna need to go over to the other side of Kerbin here and we are going to be burning in more like this direction or so relative to Kerbin. So that looks absolutely fine. There's the moon right there. That is, of course, our target. And we're going to burn in about a minute. Now I'm going to physics warp this turn a bit. Oh, that's very jittery. Okay, that is very jittery. Let's position here and warp forward. 30 seconds, 20, 10, and whoa, massively overshot it. I hit the wrong button. Okay, so in that case, we're going to redo this after an orbit. That was entirely my own fault. We'll need to figure out where this needs to go again. Yeah, that didn't go well. Okay, so let's bring this up to about here for now. I want to see where this orbit is. It is currently prograde. Okay, we're going to need to change the timing on it to be more like here. Increase the delta V to be about here. That looks good. Okay, so now we'll align to that one. And hopefully this time I won't hit the wrong button and mess up the warping. <laughs> that would be nice. But that was 100% my own fault. And... That's fine. We can own that. So we're going to warp forward to our next attempt. Our next window is going to be a little bit less than an orbit away. And that's absolutely fine. So let's cruise on forward here. We're going this direction. And we do have a little bit of fuel left in this first stage. We're going to be ditching that quite soon and burning off of our second stage here. But we've got so much fuel here. So, so much fuel. Okay, we've got 50 seconds, 40 30, 20, 10, and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. And off we go to the moon. Of course, our thrust to weight is going to be a lot lower for the second half here, no doubt about that. Okay, and there we go. So we'll be absolutely fine here. We need about another 200 meters per second to get to the moon. And we'll do some testing to make sure that we're on a good trajectory there. Okay. So we're pushing out nicely here, about another 80 meters per second. Getting that nice exponential movement. Okay. Throttling it down a bit so that we can control this a little bit better. Flipping around to retrograde. That's a retrograde orbit right there. And let's bring this on over to about here. This'll do. So that's absolutely fine. 317 kilometers. Let's set up a circularization burn there. Nice and simple mechanics here. Okay, that is elliptical there. Circular is this way. <laughs> Perfect. So right about here or so. Now, let's align to that node. But I'm a little concerned, as usual, that this might move on us. So let's see what happens if we hit this warp button here. It might move a fair amount. I want to pin open our periapsis here so we can keep an eye on that. Unfortunately, the maneuver is like right on it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, so 319 is our current periapsis. But if we come out of the physics warp, you can see it drops to 314. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Let's see what this goes to. Oh, 314. Okay, so it didn't hardly change at all this time. I have no idea what causes that, to be clear. It's not what's supposed to happen. It's clearly a bug. But let's just put ourselves in right over here, and we're going to commence our breaking burn shortly. We have, of course, arrived at the moon. Hi, moon. And we are going to warp forward another 40 seconds, 30, 20, 10, and 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. Excellent. So that'll all be absolutely fine here. And we do have these gigantors. We'll see if they survive re-entry. We'll just try to bring them back. That's absolutely okay. We've got lots of excess fuel as usual for this. And we've got about no time left on this burn. We overshot that by a meter per second, but this is fine. 
This is absolutely okay. So we'll set the Lunar Gateway as our target, and we can see we're off by one degree. I can work with one degree. That's okay. Let's see what it would look like if we were to rendezvous about here. That's pretty close. We would need to bring it over about here. That is 1.5 kilometer separation. I mean, we can definitely work with 1.5 kilometers. Yeah, this is fine. Let's align it to the node. And let's bring this guy in. Now, one thing we could definitely do, this is pretty close to the ascending node. We could attempt to fix the inclination from here. What would that end up looking like? Nope. No good. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Let's get oriented for this burn. There we go. And that burn is going to be in about 27 minutes. So let's do our home and transfer over to the station. 20 minutes to go. 15 minutes. 10 minutes. For some reason, this warp is feeling like it's taking forever to me. And I have no idea why. It really isn't. We've got about another minute to go here. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. Only 50 meters per second to change here to get our rendezvous course. About an extra meter per second. Now this is good enough. That'll do. So let's take a look at how we did on that 1.5 kilometers. Yep, that's about right. So we want to warp to somewhere around here at this point. Let's bring that right on in. And we are, of course, going to go into we're already in target mode. Okay, perfect. We're going to note how far apart we are here. 60.4 meters per second. Okay. Let's try our correction on the retrograde side. We can see we're about eight kilometers away from the lunar gateway at this time. We're going to need to do a small corrective burn here to get rid of that 1.5 kilometer differential, or as close as we can, anyway. And we're doing this on the retrograde side, so let's put this about here. Freezing the physics there, because we'd built up a lot of momentum. Okay, somewhere around here or so. Okay. So we're just pushing that node very, very gently right now with our corrective burn. Somewhere around here. I like the amount that's moving. Okay, that should do. We'll put this at relative velocity minus for now. And that puts us at 0 0.3 kilometer separation. Beautiful. I love it. So that's a great corrective burn. Let's orient ourselves around. And we're still about four kilometers out, 40 meters per second. So let's move this in. 40 meters per second at this distance is still going to get us quite a bit of drift. So we're going to have to do another corrective burn. But that is absolutely understood. We're about one kilometer out right now. So I'm going to start slowing us down a little bit and doing a bit of a correction here. There we go. And now we're moving at about 27 meters per second apart. We, of course, know exactly where we want to dock this thing, but I think we're coming in on the wrong side for that. Okay, just warping us in a little closer. 900 meters now. 800, and we're moving at about 27 meters per second. So this is fine. What's our overall, overall velocity here? We might actually be on a collision course. Okay, well, let's start braking a little bit here. We're about 450 meters out. I want to bring us down to about 5 meters per second. Okay. So we are down to 5 meters per second now. Well, 5.1. And our docking site is indeed going to be up here. So I want to continue to let ourselves get a little closer. I think we're going to impact our tanker at this stage, and we do want to be up on this other side. So, to that end, I want to rotate us, well, we should probably bring this to a halt, actually. Four meters per second, three, two, one, and that's a halt right there. We'll put this in kill rot, and I want to bring us up here. Because we want to get up to this side, right? And dock up to that docking port up there. So I want to bring us up and over, and I want to burn us to right around this angling or so. 
So we're just going to need to orient this over. And we're going to need to head over this direction a bit as well. Okay, we're currently about on a parallel-ish course with where we want to be. Cool. And we want to go down this way a little further. Like, we want to be burning almost towards target, but not quite. Somewhere up over here looks pretty good. So we'll light these engines up and burn in here at about 5 meters per second. That's 4, and there we go. That's 5. We'll flip around to relative velocity minus, because we're going to need to bring this to a halt again. And we'll just gently cruise over to the other side of this station, because we definitely came in from the wrong side. No problem whatsoever. You never quite know what direction you're going to come in from. Also, it's not quite to the levels of the ISS, but uh, <laughs> there's definitely some frame dropping happening already with the Lunar Gateway. The good news is we're not going to be developing it anymore. The bad news is we're not turning fast enough. Uh, okay. It's because we're on Kill Rot. We need to do this. RCS is on, and we're just turning our way on over here. We're going to overshoot this a little bit. I was hoping that we'd be turned by now, but this thing is definitely slow to turn. Okay. I'm going to commence some burning here. It'll help us turn a little bit. But what we really need to do right now is get rid of this momentum, right? So there we go. We'll just position ourselves right up over here and turn RCS off for the moment. Just letting ourselves position a little bit more here. That node pushes pretty far over. Okay, that'll do for now. I want to set this guy as our target. I want to point at the target. And we're going to want to come in at this. Now we're going to need a little bit of vertical speed. We're going to need a little bit of speed out this way. That's all absolutely fine. Let's rotate this to be... I'm wondering what the angling on this is. Okay, something about like that. Sure. Let's orient ourselves out over here. We're going to head towards target at a low speed. About one meter per second. Now I'm going to RCS us in... This is the correct direction. I don't like the RCS being utilized up here, but I'm just watching that movement go. It looks okay for now. We're heading in almost exactly the correct direction here. So that looks very, very solid. I want to get a little bit more speed up in that way. I don't like the RCS counteracting our rotation, but that's to be expected. Okay, we want to be in the correct orientation as far as our yaw and pitch here goes, right? So that is what we're working on doing right now, is bringing ourselves into that positioning. Okay. It's looking decent. We're almost there. We should probably start breaking downward a little bit here. This is barely affecting our trajectory because of this roll here. Okay. Absolutely barely affecting it. I'm trying, but... Uh, our roll is a bit of an issue. The speed of our turn is the problem here. Absolutely, that's the issue. So this isn't going to really function, unfortunately. We'll see if we manage to get close enough here for docking forces to take over. It's intriguing. I mean, we ended up shoving it. That is a really awkward way for this to end up going. So our main problem here, of course, is the fact that we're not designed to be carrying this amount of mass, right? That's the core issue there. So I want to I want to hop over here. I want to grab this. We'll set that as our target. We'll control from here, and we'll point at this target. This is going to create probably a fair amount of shake, but this is kind of similar amounts of force over here. So that's noted. 
Okay, RCS is going to go off for right now. Docking forces might be in a good position here. These are not cinched down. So we could, we could have some significant shaking issues here. That was perhaps the most awkward way to dock this. But I think we're okay here. I don't think we need to burn anything else. Maybe we need to burn slightly towards target. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of shaking happening from the station. So that is absolutely noted. The, the station needs to stop this, right? We're trying to counteract it, but our spin is out here, and they're not really connected here, so that's the problem. I'm going to put this into Kill Rot, and that will at least alleviate this problem somewhat. And we have docking forces right now. But I'm going to very slightly burn us towards target here. We're currently moving at 0, 0.0, now 0, 0.1. What we need to do here is we need to push ourselves this way a little bit. And that is this direction. It doesn't need to be much. That's an awkward way to dock it, for sure. <laughs> No doubt about that. But we're drifting into position here. We've almost got it set up. How much monoprop do we have left? Probably not much. Yeah, I figured. Not much at all. That's okay. Just getting that extra little bit of momentum there. I'm gonna turn the smart ASS off temporarily. Right. We just need to do something like that, turn our RCS off, and point at target. So the problem right now is that we're just slightly misaligned. And now we have a fair amount of momentum here, pulling us apart like this. Point three, point four, what's going on with this? Why are we getting additional momentum right now? That's intriguing. Oh, it's because our SAS isn't... Or no, our smart ASS is on. Now, this is going to start rocking like this again. Yeah, this is very awkward. <laughs> Can we... Oh, we're going to target minus. I'm dumb. Okay, that was the problem. So, we're just going to bring this back to target plus. We're going to need to go to relative velocity minus quite soon. We're basically moving away from target right now. It's not quite exact. We don't have the monoprop to really fix that, but that's okay. Let's just burn ever so gently towards target here. Okay, that was extremely not gently. And yeah, the problem here is that these aren't sufficiently cinched. So we're going to need to just get this lined up, or approximately lined up. Put it back into kill rot. Then this needs to point at target, which I'm going to freeze physics here briefly. Okay, something kind of like that, although that gave us a really awkward direction again. Just go to kill rot, please. Okay, we need to go to relative velocity minus. We need to get rid of this relative speed. This is incredibly awkward right now. Okay. <laughs> now, one thing I do want to do is I want to cinch this down. That'll help, but we've still got this guy out over here, right? We're currently still turning. We are struggling to get this rotation under control. Let's freeze that physics and get that relative velocity done. There we go. So this is relatively stable, but it's not as stable as it needs to be. We're going to do this the overkill method at this point, and we're just going to get rid of any of this velocity here. That's a little too much again. Okay. Let's just get ourselves stable here, and I'd like to head towards target. Just that little bit. Okay. RCS off. Point at target. And we're going to have you point at target as well. This is the overkill method here. So we have 0.1 meters per second right now. And we're just going to bring this in. This is an incredibly awkward dock. Why are you not pointing towards target? Go. There you go. This is an incredibly awkward docking maneuver. No doubt about it. <laughs> it 
and that pretty much was of our own creation. Absolutely. So let's just get this lined up. These are going to start fighting each other fairly soon. And this is going to start rocking back and forth again. So once this is roughly in position, we're going to need it to go into Kill Rot. It's starting to fight each other right now. So we're going to put it into Kill Rot. And we can see that rocking picking up. Okay. Now, we can see that we are not at an exact angle here. We want to move upwards a little bit. Or more specifically, we want this to move downwards a little bit. Docking forces don't seem to be strong enough to handle this with the amount of fuel that we've got in here. So that is definitely awkward. I'm going to hop over to the station. And what I want to do is, with the station, I want to rotate it in one of these directions. None of these are doing anything. Oh, we have no station control right now. Okay, we're on the far side of Kerbin. Well, what I wanted to do is rotate the station, but I guess we're going to have to rotate this instead and just have the station move with us. Which is fine. We can do that. So we're just going to pitch this a little bit and try to get ourselves in a better line this way. Okay. Okay. And now it needs to come, I think, a little bit this direction. Getting that slightly under control here. Come on. Get moving. This is so awkward. <laughs> Luckily, this is our last one. So that is fine. This is definitely not my finest hour. So we're going this way. Wait a second. How do we get that kind of momentum? Let's not do that. Thank you very much. Get this back under control. Now we need to rotate it this way, right? And hopefully docking forces will get us there. Just very gentle. There we go. Okay. Perfect. We got docked. That was not awkward in the slightest. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm going to move, I think, into this center here. I'm going to move all of this fuel immediately. So all of this fuel is going to go directly in here. There we go. And we'll ditch this. Keep in mind, this was never designed to move all of this fuel. So that's a big part of the problem there. No doubt about it. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this, and we are going to immediately decouple this. And we're going to activate this engine. There we go. Next up, I want build to EVA. And we're never going to detach this tanker again. Oh, the tanker is strutted. Wait, is it? It shouldn't be. This absolutely should not be strutted on here. Okay, where's the ladder on this hitchhiker storage container? Off over here? Yep. Okay, we're going to head in over this way. There we go. And we're going to strut this. This is a fake strut here. I don't think this is actually connected. So we're going to re-strut this from here to here. We're going to strut it from here to here. From here out to here. And finally, from here to here. There we go. So that will make this a lot more stable. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Bill hop into here. RCS on, please. And we're going to head down this way, hopefully not destroying this solar panel. Okay, there we go. And in goes Bill. We'll just grab on here, and he'll hop into the HLS. Beautiful. Cool. So now I want to make sure that the HLS is fully fueled. It should be. Yes, it is. That is perfect. And we'll need to transfer these crew right on over to the HLS. One here and two here. Perfect. Next, of course, the HLS is going to go land by the mining rig. However, it is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to take the HLS on over 
and it's going to burn a fair amount of this fuel. In reality, we want it to be only about half fuel, though. So we may want to consider moving a fair amount of this fuel over into here. Let's see what it looks like if we move the fuel here. And I want to pull it from the top here. So let's move this fuel out. Because we only want to have about half of the fuel when we land. We're going to need less than that. So that's fine. That means that we can bring... Maybe we can land on just this. I'm not sure. Our thrust to weight would be reasonably high. Our overall mass would be a lot lower, which would be good. But let's move all of this fuel out next. There we go. Looking good. And then we'll see about moving this fuel out as soon as we're done here. Cool. So this is going to go out here. There we go. So I think we may want to then move the fuel. This is currently completely empty here. Let's move this fuel out. And we'll try landing on this, I think. I'm not 100% convinced that it'll work. I may run a simulation off camera first. We'll see. Uh, I'm Well, what we need to know more than anything is the Delta V count. And detaching this will tell us that. So we may decide to not have it be like this. I may have more fuel in here when we come back. I'll probably detach it and then determine at that point whether we want to reattach and that's going to take almost nothing so that's absolutely fine you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes comments subscribes and bell ringings and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including als gamer shadow wolf atala ali lee dark horse upper cumberland gamers nick smarty dimitri h punching the microphone sockerman 12 uk kentogan and all the rest and of course you Thank you for watching. That should absolutely be enough fuel, as I think about it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.